Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are doing Moronic Frauditor of the Week 3 today. So the rules go like this. For every lie, half-truth, or misconception, the frauditor gets a point. Or if he or she says something that's really stupid. Ten points are awarded if the frauditor implicitly or explicitly calls out the law enforcement or any other department as tyrants. In the first week of this competition, we had S. Elmo, who had a total of 44 points. That link will be in the description below. Last week, I pitted S. Elmo off with Granny Katie Kidman, and she came out with a grand total of 90 points. Now, let's introduce the contestant for this week's episode. Can this frauditor dethrone the granny of grannies? He's a West Coast frauditor weighing in at 150 pounds, I think. And he fancies himself a YouTube law expert. What else is new? I give you Jonathan from Bay Area Transparency. Take a bow. Now, let's get this show on the road and see if you can dethrone Granny. We're back at it once again, and for this video, we're in the city of Medford, Oregon. This is my arrest video where I was arrested outside of the Medford Police Department. I even put the municipal code, which you will see is unconstitutional, in this video and went over it. But the code basically says, so you guys understand, that you can be asked to leave public or private property, whether it's open to the public at the time or not, for basically any reason. It says a lawful directive, but it doesn't define what a lawful directive is. So an officer... It only took five or ten minutes of research to find out what the definition of lawful order is in the state of Oregon. According to case law in the state of Oregon, a lawful order is consistent with Article 1, Section 9 of the Oregon Constitution which is essentially a word-for-word -word recreation of the Fourth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. The can basically tell you to leave the police department because he doesn't like your shirt color, because he doesn't like your skin color, because he doesn't like your haircut, for any reason, and you have to leave. And if not, you can be trespassed. But we're going to see that this is basically an ego-driven arrest. There was no need for the arrest. I was literally just trying to ask the officer questions. I was in cuffs very, very fast, right? I wasn't refusing to leave. I was just trying to talk to him. As a matter of fact, I was even walking out of the little lot where we were at until he stopped me and talked to me and I turned around to talk to him and then they arrested me. You'll see that in the video. Another thing is I went to court yesterday, Bay Fam, and I went ahead and pled not guilty. I went to my arraignment in Medford Municipal Court via Zoom and so we are going to go ahead and head to trial and I'm going to try to broadcast this trial for you guys. We're going to try to record and broadcast live if I can get all that set up. We're going to put in a request. I need to hire a lawyer for this. Um, hopefully we're going to get a good lawyer out in Oregon. I'm not going to hire the lawyer unless it's a really good lawyer and they're ready to take this to trial. Um, and we're going to try to get this municipal code overturned if we can. So anyways, bear with me through this process. I appreciate your guys' support through the process. I appreciate each and every one of you. Go follow us on YouTube at Bayfam Clips. Subscribe, like, share. It's VAT. Let's get to the video. Police parking. Authorized parking only. That sign he just read is the whole crux of the upcoming situation. To most of us, that would be an indicator that nobody but the police are supposed to be in that garage. It doesn't just apply to cars. It applies to everyone who's not a police officer. But that's just us. That's not this frauditor or any other frauditor. It's cool. Police parking, but... Definitely be right here though. Oh, well, there we go. We got a um, a truck going in. I was kind of waiting for a vehicle to go in here, Medford, Oregon. Let's check them out.
Go with that one. Kind of take pictures around the outside. There is a camera there. Go ahead and check it out down the way they found there with me, baby. Community service officer parking. Yeah, the one community service officer tell the other one what I was doing and <laughs> Alright, looks like maybe we got a shift change or something. Alright, another officer coming in. Let's go ahead and hop in here and take some pictures. We had one just past me while this one comes in. We got uh, one coming out, maybe it looks like. Probably 10 to 15. No, I'm good. Appreciate you. Let's get a couple pictures. How you doing? Awesome. This is private property? Yes. I mean, I feel like I'm out of your way. Why is that? But I don't, I don't understand. Why is that, sir? What? Where does it say that anywhere? Well, what's your name? I'm telling you to move back to the sidewalk. I know. What's your name? Should be able to get your name, right? You're arresting me for trespassing? I will, if you don't move the sidewalk. Where are the trespassing signs, sir? Move to the sidewalk. I'm asking you a question. And what, I'm what giving was your you name? five seconds to move. Are you going to jail for trespass? What was that? Everything's recorded. I know, I'm recording everything okay. too. But if you guys can show me, show me where the signs are. Right over there, the sidewalk is public property. And this is too. This Who's is this not, owned by? This is not. This is owned by who? This is, this is private this property. This is owned by who? Step to the sidewalk. How I'm is you. the public okay, police? Arrest. Okay, go ahead. Okay, this one's definitely on you. The cop gave you numerous chances to get off the property, and you did not do so. All he asked you to do was to get 
onto the sidewalk, which is a public easement, rather than be on the property of the police department in the garage. So that's definitely on you. And this was not an unreasonable search or seizure, as you like to indicate in what your previous argument was, or even your future argument. They had no idea who you were or what your intentions were. All right, Bay fam, let me go ahead and stop that right there. I want to go over the city municipal code. Remember, this is not the Oregon state law, but this is Medford City Municipal Code. Chapter 5.250 Trespass. As you see right there, their trespass law for the municipal code is no person shall enter or remain unlawfully, is the key word, unlawfully, in or on premises. That's it. That's their trespass law. That's not the Oregon state law. We'll go over that in a second. But this is the code that I got arrested under. Now let's go on and look at the definitions of the code. Chapter 5.240 definitions. Let's look at enter or remain unlawfully. This is the definition to them in this municipal code of enter or remain unlawfully. To enter or remain in or upon premises when the premises at the time of the entry or remaining are not open to the public or when the entrant is not otherwise licensed or privileged to do so or to fail to leave premises that are open to the public after being lawfully directed to do so by the person in charge. Now you can go look at what person in charge means. You can also look at what open to the public means. And then premises includes any building and any property, whether privately or publicly owned. Okay, so this municipal code literally says that anybody for any public building or anything can ask you to leave at any time and you have to leave. It also says that the directive has to be lawfully directed. So I think that's the question. Was this a lawful directive for me to leave a public place? Why? Why did I have to leave? I think that's the question. And there's where your argument falls apart again. You just glossed over one of the more important parts of that paragraph right there. When the entrant is not otherwise licensed or privileged to do so, and you are not a licensed police officer, therefore you don't have the privilege to be in there. When are you frauditors going to read the whole paragraph of anything and comprehend it? was the directive lawful and i don't think the directive was lawful because you can't just walk up to somebody and tell them to leave but under this law they pretty much can and that's a problem okay so that's what we're going to go ahead and work on hopefully i can find a lawyer out there to help file a lawsuit for this so we can get this unconstitutional municipal code overturned i don't care the lawyer can keep all any money we get from me being locked up for 10 hours that doesn't matter to me i just want my name on the case law that changes this so any lawyers out that are licensed to practice in oregon that want to sue because of this municipal code let me know all right let's all right, get back to check it out i just got out of jail i'm in the city of medford oregon okay i was in jail all day i got arrested about one o'clock for standing right here right inside this this driveway right here a second later I, I came walking here and i stopped right about right here probably like two feet away from the concrete right here two feet i said let's go look at the signs and i, I came to walk out here to go look and show them there's no signs there's nothing here that says i can't be in here on top of that this is public a public building it's a public complex it's a public parking garage are you stupid or something yeah, are you stupid or something? There's obviously a keypad in front of those doors, which means there is restricted access to that parking garage. Therefore, it is restricted to the general public, you moron. Your arguments just fall apart at the slightest observation. It's for police vehicles, but it's owned by the public, and it shouldn't be a big deal. Um when i was right there almost to the sidewalk he stopped me and basically said there is signs up blah 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 oh here's my thing look at this is this is what i was missing that's crazy i just found it this is what i was missing from my phone this is for my gimbal look at that this is for my gimbal right here and it's freaking smashed they ripped it off my phone and instead of taking it with me they threw it on the ground and smashed it at the time this was connected to my phone 
And I guarantee that's crazy because I, I noticed I was missing it uh, yesterday when I got out of jail. And it's freaking right here on the ground. So, so in order to mess with me, they obviously ripped it off my phone. These things clamp to the phone really, really hard. It's not easy to take this thing off. You have to specifically take this thing off. So they took it off, threw it on the ground, and didn't put it with me and didn't put it in my property. So this right here is evidence now. And this is bullshit. Anyways... date and list let's go see if we can talk see if it's even open it is open let's go see if we can get a couple complaint forms and i wonder if they have them out here mm. that's not a complaint form can i get a couple complaint forms please as well as a, do you guys have a, a hard copy public records request? We do. And a couple of those. Okay, so is it for officer complaints? Correct. Okay. And then is there a, a, a watch commander or somebody on right now? Um, you'll have to pick up the black form behind you and I'll read into our dispatch and you can request to speak to the watch commander. Okay. And then I'll get you the form. Please. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. So it's funny. Uh, you can't stand over outside by a sidewalk, but yet you can come in here and record and be recording. And they don't say anything because they literally have a policy that says don't mess with people recording. It's their, their, it's their right to do that. But yet he did. And I, I just don't get it. Okay. And I'm sorry, how many complaint forms did you say you needed? Two for now. Two for now? Yeah. And then a public records request? Yeah, and if I need a copy of that, I can make a copy myself. For which part? The public records request. Uh, we give you a copy. So no, I mean just one, and if I need more, I'll make a copy. That's what I'm saying. Oh, you come in and fill one in every time, or you can do the request online on the City of Medford's website. Gotcha. But what I'm saying is if I want to fill out two separate ones, I just need one copy from you, and then I'll make a copy of it if I need it. Okay. That's, that's kind of what I'm getting at. There's a clipboard and pens out there. Cool. Thank you very much. And then black phone. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. And what was your name? Lily. Okay. Thank you. You're it's funny how today it's okay, right? Like I can stand in here, I can record, and there's nothing that they're doing. They're they're just chilling, going about their day, working. And it's funny, I told them, you know what, you might think you're good now, but uh, when you're sitting in a, uh, uh, a room with me and getting grilled by a lawyer and uh, we're in a deposition, you're going to think different. His response was, oh, well, I've been in them before. Like, is that something to be proud about, Officer Venicles? You're proud that you've been in depositions before and you've looked bad and you've made this department look bad and you've been sued? What, just because you're backed up by your by your chief and by your watch commander, your lieutenant, your captains? That doesn't mean that it's okay. You're a horrible officer. You should have never arrested me for this unconstitutional um, um, municipal code that you abused, right? Hi. Just turning this in. Okay, and then I have another question. Are you recording all of this right now or something? Absolutely. Okay, so you're supposed to actually inform us that you're recording and you didn't do that. Why is that? Because you're supposed to. Um, just a second. No, why? He wants to know why. Okay. I'm in public. I understand that. Mm -hmm. um, but no. you're still supposed to notify us because that's a law part of it. I have an Not officer in here that just advised me of that. So 165.40 doesn't say that. It says okay. you guys can be recorded anytime. There is a lot of legalese within the Oregon law regarding recording, but this particular section is of particular interest. It is regarding a case law and summarizes it quite nicely. The link will be in the description as well as everything else that I have covered in this video. So basically, you are wrong. You have to inform them that you are recording. Okay. What are we doing with this? As well as case law, so I don't have to inform you guys. You guys should what know that. We, what are we doing with this? Turning it in. Okay, so you're requesting a copy of something? Yeah, a bunch of stuff, yep. And what's your name? Ray. 
What's the last name? I don't want to mispronounce it. Um, my first name is Ray and my last name is Roseboro. Okay, cool. Thank you. I'll take a look at this. This isn't something we'll be able to do today for you. Because it occurred, uh, looks like yesterday. Yeah, that's fine. I put the email address to send. So it's, I don't need any paper copies, just uh, digital. So. There will be fees associated with this as well. With a digital copy? For what? Any copy, because we have to do redactions. There shouldn't be, but I'll look it up. Okay, sounds good. So um, I'll take this and put it in our workbook, and um, we'll give you a contact once we know how much it's going to cost for you. Um, I see you don't have a phone number on here. Do you have a phone number we can use? Nope. You don't have any phone? Email right there. Okay. It's fine. All right, then. Um, is that... Mm -hmm. Six and then one at Yahoo. Okay. So um, we have five days from today to get an estimate to you, okay? Uh huh. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. So you get another misinformed officer back here saying that, that I'm supposed to inform them that I'm recording, which that's not what the law says, like in any way, shape, or form. And he ends with 55 points. I tell you something, this reminds me of the days whenever I was in FSU doing research papers, cranking out three or four papers a week, doing this much rigorous research, trying to get any one of them done. But anyway, he managed to beat out Ass Elmo by 11 points, but he was still shut out by Katie Kidman. And that wraps up this edition of Frauder of the Week. So, why don't we all give Katie Kidman a round of applause for her great accomplishment, other than harassing children at schools.